What's up guys, it's Geeks Connor here. Now a few days ago we did a video on anti-revoke, which was a way you could stop Apple revoking uh, your apps from things like Signalist, Tutu, App Valley, uh, IPA Store, etc. Now the profile that was used actually did seem to fail when Apple did a revoke yesterday. However, the developer says that uh, he had some problems and hadn't paid his server costs. Uh, there's been some back and forth between the developer of that and AppDB, who he was actually using uh, some of their servers from. Now, I'm not getting involved in that. However, what you can actually do as well is you can use another method which doesn't rely on servers so there's no downtime and this should help you guys stop being revoked and it's really easy to use now the first thing you're going to need to do is to go to the app store and you're going to need to download ad blocker now i'm going to put a link in the description below it's not that expensive and it's definitely recommended you're going to hit settings and then you're going to add in the domains in the group. So we're going to call this Apple Revokes. You could actually call it whatever you want. And that will just be a bit easier so I know in the future. And then you're going to actually click in there and add the domain. Now, again, I'll put the domain in the description below. And you click Done. And then click Save Changes. I'm going to go back and I can Save Changes again. Let it just refresh a second. And then you're going to sw simply swipe up. Now it's going to talk about adding a VPN profile, which you're going to need to click continue and then allow. Now, if you have touch ID, you can just use touch ID. If you have a passcode, it's going to ask you for your passcode. So it's whatever you set in your phone and then you are all done and you're ready to go. Now you can actually have it to show a VPN at all times during the settings if you want. I personally don't want to. I do use a VPN at times, but I don't want that logo all the way up there when I'm just running this just to confuse me. But that's simply all you do, guys, and that will then stop Apple revoking your applications. I highly recommend it whether you use a free signing service or a paid one at the moment because Apple are probably due right about around now to start doing some revokes again. They tend to do it in waves, and we've seen some free ones, like I said, about yesterday. So we're probably due to see a few more uh, in the next day or two. So definitely check it out, guys. It's simple, it's easy to do. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.